distress for some businesses in Florida came after the storm passed when crooks targeted them. CBS North Carolina's Michael Highland just outside of Tampa where the owners of one restaurant say they won't be discouraged. We're at Doña Julia's Mexican restaurant in Polk County, Florida. They were so excited to open today because they actually have power. But when they got here, they found somebody threw a cement block through this door when they broke in. And the whole thing was caught on camera. They're cleaning up at Doña Julia's Mexican restaurant in Polk County. But the shattered glass from this door is not from Hurricane Irma. Come on in. Angela Roque's family has owned the restaurant for 16 years. When she came by Monday, she was thrilled to find out the lights worked. But just hours later, around 1 in the morning Tuesday, this guy smashed the glass door, stealing about $300 worth of food and beer. We were blessed that it didn't hit us like it did last hurricane. And then we walk in here and they break in. And Three weeks prior to this, we were robbed. That's right, twice in less than a month. This time, when the community is trying to recover from a hurricane. A lot of people are closed, so we open because we have electricity and people are hungry. A lot of longtime customers came by today trying to find places with power. Tim Gates says it's heartbreaking to see what happened. I might do the same thing I did when I walked up. I might cry again because these are really fantastic people. A spokeswoman for the sheriff says looting cases have been isolated. Deputies arrested three teens in a separate case Monday. Um, we're staying strong and we're open. They wanted to keep us closed. We're not going to stay closed. We'll fix this door and we'll feed everybody. Angela's friends put in this temporary fix until a crew can get here and make repairs. There's a curfew in effect in Polk County from midnight to 5 a.m. The sheriff says that's to try to deter break-ins like this one from happening. In Polk County, Florida, Michael Highland, CBS North Carolina.